Uh oh. Oh no. bent the roof a little bit but the I door's bet. still shutting thank god yeah right yeah i bet we could fix it yeah it ain't no problem you think you'd be able to push all that back out oh yeah yeah i can pull all that out yeah what are you doing okay i got a redneck them guys i can only find white bulbs so we're gonna make them red <laughs> high temp so rtv I went and bought a car one time up in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and uh, we, it took us a lot longer to get it loaded and everything than what I thought, so we was headed home and it was getting dark, so we stopped at Walmart and bought two flashlights and painted the lens red and taped them to the back of the trailer, and so it was just tail lights on the back of the trailer with painted okay. lenses. <laughs> well, at least these are still working. Yeah, right. Uh-oh, now it's too slick, I can't turn it. You gonna try a different plan of action this time, Wiley? Well, yeah. Yeah, it should go over. Playing with the trailer a little bit more, guys. The generator seems to be running it fine. Uh, the no water leaks we did have a one of the faucets is leaking a little bit i'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there this is going to be a whole lot easier to fix than what i thought sheila was bringing the trailer to us and got rear-ended it pushed this tire up into the wall and it pushed it far enough that it broke the toilet on the inside it snapped it off the floor not a big deal it's going to fix real easy i'm not worried about it you know the bumper's bent who cares but it's going to be an easy fix i just kind of took this panel off today and was looking at it it's not going to be a big deal at all i did get the griddle or the propane all hooked up so i've got the top off the griddle it's laying over here of course it needs cleaned it's been sitting for a while um but check this out guys it actually works so all three burners work on the griddle i took all this out fired it all up it all works all the burners work on it good the fridges work the freezer works the radio even works what do you reckon we got to do to it well because we can't leave the water on to check everything out we don't know yet we got to get that sink fixed then we can leave the water on then we can see if the propane or the heat the water heater is going to work then you know go from there yeah we'll have to take this off take that bottom piece loose pull it down if you want to scab it i think it'd be a good idea if we did i mean the only thing about <laughs> scabbing is it's going to help hold them boards back where they're supposed to be Mm-hmm. Look at all the rotted wood in here. Mm -hmm. See if we can go inside and push this wall back a little bit where it's supposed to go. As you can see, there's quite a bit of damage. I'm thinking I might just need to bring some screws in here. And I don't know if you can tell how wiggly this wall is, but it's very, very loose all the way up. You can tell it even damaged up here a little bit. It 
may not look pretty, but firm this wall up quite a bit. If you've been watching us for very long, you probably know by now that we don't really worry about how it looks. We just want it to work. And by those standards, I think that this is gonna be good enough. Now I just gotta wait for Wiley to come back. We're not going to reuse these pieces of metal. We think it would take a lot of work to straighten them out and I don't know that we'd ever get them to fit exactly right. So we're gonna take this thing off over here. We're gonna take off this big sheet of metal and we're gonna figure out how to make it work. We don't think it's gonna look too bad on the back of this trailer because it's pretty close to the same color. Again, we don't really care about how it looks. We just want it to work. So we're gonna try to make this work. We'd hooked up the water to this trailer and we noticed that this faucet right here was leaking around there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this faucet out and take the one that's over here on this sink that we probably won't be using and put it on here so that we can have running water in here to do dishes and such. Okay, that one's unhooked. That's what's holding it. It's all just finger tight, which is making it really easy. <laughs> Voila! Now I'm gonna pull this faucet out. I think this one's still good. Pull this one out and move it over there. Oh, I was supposed to go get your wrenches, right? Yeah. So we're just going to cap the ends of these hoses because we took this faucet out. We're not going to use this faucet. So for now, I'm just going to cap the ends of these hoses in case we find some other use for them. No, to reach it. <laughs> Once we get water in here and can identify any leaks and stuff, then I can start cleaning this place up. Lights no leak sure. there. No leak there. Alright. Now do we test the how do we test the water heater? Turn electrical switch to the on position. I don't know, I don't even hear anything clicking out here. Like any of the solenoids clicking or anything. Turn it back on? Yeah. We'll give it a second then. Whoa. Uh, turn it off and back on. It's on.
got it all nice and clean in here. Well guys, I think that's a wrap. We got it cleaned up. We've got it good enough to use. We do need to, um, the hot water tank is not working correctly. So I think I'm just going to remove it and put a tankless in here. We actually have a brand new tankless laying out here. So I think we're going to go ahead and hook it up in here, uh, which of course they're a whole lot more efficient anyway. And since we've had a tankless for so long, I think it would be torture to go back to a tank that only has a couple of gallons of hot water. Yeah. When the trailer got hit in the rear end, it busted the bathtub and it knocked the toilet off the floor. So we think we're just going to wind up gutting that and building a pantry back here in the back because we're going to do a, I guess what you would call an outside shower. We had originally planned on using the bathroom in here but it's really 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 small let's just show them yeah 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 okay, so here's why we don't really plan on using the shower i mean if the shower curtain was here guys it'd be like draped over my shoulder it's like it's so small and wiley's not a tall guy yeah. but look there's barely and i'm yeah i'm dang near hitting the roof not to mention, if you're sitting on the toilet, your knees are touching the tub. Anyway, it's going to turn into a pantry. We're just going to connect into the back side of it back here, hook our tankless up, and operate this and the outdoor bathroom, shower, all that off of the same unit. This being the kitchen, I think this is a perfect spot for a pantry. This is the end of this video, guys. If you want to follow along on our journey... Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, read the notification bell. Don't forget to check out these cool videos over here.